All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This morning, I want to talk to you about three things. First is the boomerang hack and how when you drop orders, things boomerang back around. Uh, extra effort for waiting past 30 minutes and what happens and the ramifications of when you do that. So you're at the Walmart parking lot. You're waiting for your order and it says the order is not ready. You've been waiting a little while and you decide I'm going to unassign or I'm going to drop this order and you drop it. Right after you drop it, you're going to be the first driver that gets re-offered this, this dropped order that you just dropped. Now, if it was an express delivery, quite often they're going to bump up the pay. And that's kind of what we call the boomerang hack is there's a lot of drivers that when they get an express delivery, they'll intentionally do that. They'll wait. And while it's getting ready, getting ready, getting ready, they'll like unassign and then reassign and the pay will bounce up and they just get a couple extra dollars out of it. So I don't really play that game because I think it messes with the associates and the system of getting stuff ready. I don't like to tweak with things too much, but that's just my personal opinion. Everybody does their own thing. They want to risk it for the biscuit or do whatever they want to do. That's their own thing. Now, if you're waiting for your order and you wait for, let's say, 10 minutes and it's still in the getting ready stage and you're like, I'm going to unassign this order and you unassign it, that does not count against your drop rate. Just so everybody understands that. If you say the order was not ready and you are in the parking lot, it doesn't count against your drop rate at all. OK, so don't worry about that. But let's say you want to wait 25 minutes and you're like, oh, unassign it. You won't get any kind of pay. You have to wait 30 minutes. And if you waited over 30 minutes, then you're entitled <clears throat> to $2.50 uh, extra effort or wait time. So you get that. Now, if you stay longer, you will get additional money because of extra effort. Now, how much that's going to be calculated out to, nobody knows. So I wanted to go through a couple quick comments that were left behind and just kind of reiterate things. So, uh, David Ellis said, uh, great video. Here is what I've been doing. It's if it's past the 30 minutes, I will on a sign in which I will get my $2 and 50 cents. And then I will look for it as it comes back to me again. So he's kind of double dipping it right there. He's playing that I'll get it back and then I'll get the 250, which is a hack. You know, <clears throat> like I said, everybody has their own gamification of how they're going to do things. Uh, another one, uh, Wisco Gal, 61 says, I just found out that they will pay us for waiting. You have to look under the earnings after the trip and compare it to the original offer. I had an offer that was $9, waited 35 minutes, and the trip went up to $15.25 plus a $10 tip. So it does pay to wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. It can pay to wait. However... It does and it doesn't. So let's say you waited that 35 minutes. So you got to the parking lot on time. You waited uh, 35 minutes. Now you're leaving at quarter after the top of the next hour. You are not getting around Robin for that next hour. So pretty much you gave up a whole hour of earnings to get that additional money. So you did get a $6.27 increase but you missed out on a whole nother hour of round robin and what I consider better quality orders. So that's just something that we all play with. Uh, your time is your money, guys. And if you want to wait, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, to me, I get to the parking lot and I look at how many drivers are in the parking lot. If there's a slew full of drivers there and everybody's been waiting, I kind of ask people to, I'm like, how long have you been here? How long have you been here? Because I want to get a vibe of how fast the associates are bringing it out. If there's a lot of drivers in the lot and everybody's been there a while, I'll just unassign the order and go to a different store or whatever else. Um, you know, unless it's an express delivery. Because express deliveries will jump the line of other rides that are waiting there for their orders. So they're not going to let you be late with an express delivery over something that's maybe a dot-com order or whatnot. So... And that's, 
that's another reason why people sometimes don't understand why some drivers pull in and they get their orders right away and you've been waiting 30 minutes. Well, you're not on express deliveries. So sometimes there's people that are on express deliveries that show up after you and they get their order first. And then also they accepted their trip before you did maybe. So they might've been 20 minutes out, but they accepted that trip 20 minutes ago. So they've already been on that trip in that process. So that's maybe why they get their orders faster as well. So just uh, some things out there I wanted you guys to be aware of. Hope you guys are having a great week. Not a lot of incentives this week at all. I think that something for .com just popped into my uh, incentives this morning. But other than that, I am not getting anything uh, let's see, .com incentive, $50 if I do 10 .com orders. Not happening. So hopefully you guys have a great week. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and we'll hit you on the next one.